The movie opens up in the year 1899 in a small town in England Crip and Gifford. We see three little girls are playing with dolls. Then suddenly they look at the window and walks towards it in a trance. Then they open the window and all three of them jumps out of it to death. In the next scene we see a man named Arthur who is a lawyer. Arthur has lost his wife and he has a four-year-old son named Joseph. Arthur goes to the office and his boss orders him to take care of the paperwork which is used to sell an isolated mansion in Critton Gifford called Delmarsh. At first Arthur seems to be reluctant to go. They're leaving his son alone but his boss warns Arthur if he failed to complete this task then he will lose his job. Hearing this, Arthur agrees to go to Marsh later while leaving. Arthur tells Joseph and his nanny to come to Critton Gifford in two days. Then he boards the train and while on his way Arthur meets a man named Sam on the train. Sam recognizes Arthur as the man who came to sell El Marsh. He also tells Arthur that he wouldn't find any local buyers and tells him to look for outsiders. Then Sam offers him a ride to the place where Arthur will be staying. And Arthur gladly accepts after getting to the inn Sam him come to his house for lunch. The next day after getting into the inn Arthur tells the receptionist about the room his firm booked for him but the receptionist tells him that there isn't any bookings for him. Then the inn's owner Mrs. Fisher approaches him and offers him to stay in the attic cause he can't go anywhere at this time since it is raining he stays in there for the night. Next day Arthur gets ready to go to the mansion and he notices that everyone in the village is keeping a distance from him. Then Arthur goes to a man named Jerome who is a local lawyer. He goes into Jerome's home and met Jerome's wife. Jerome tells Arthur to go back to London saying he prepared all the documents and he doesn't have to bother about El Marsh and he tells Arthur to leave for the train, which is an hour and sends him out of the house saying his colleague Q will take him to the station. Arthur goes to Keck and asks him to take to El Marsh when Keck reminds Arthur that he got paid only to take him to the station. Arthur offers him more money while on the way Arthur notices a grave in a swamp only marked by a cross. After getting to the mansion Kick tells him that he will be back by five to pick him up and leaves Arthur gets into the mansion. The mansion seems pretty old and ruined since it hasn't been inhabited by anyone for a long time. He goes into the mansion and finds the papers and documents regarding the house. While he was checking the house he goes into a room and takes a look outside through the window while Looking outside, he notices a woman dressed in all black standing in front of the yard and staring at him. He suddenly gets disturbed by a crow, and when he looks back the woman is nowhere to be found. He gets curious and gets out of the mansion to look around. Then he runs into the mist hearing a boy screams and, as someone is drowning in the swamp while he was looking he suddenly notices Keck behind him. Keck takes him back to the village and he goes to the police to report about the accident. The police tells him since the draw, blow boy drowned there nothing happened there and no one goes there and Del Marcia is empty. Since then when Arthur tells it is not empty and he saw women there the police goes and telling him to wait. Then two boys comes there with their sister Victoria and tells that she drank some lie. Then the girl collapses into Arthur's arms and dies coughing blood. The girl's death caused a stir in the village and everyone went straight to their homes. Then he goes to meet Mrs. Fisher they chat for a while and then Mrs. Fisher advises him to return to London if he cared about his son and tells about the myth going around in the village about whoever sees the women dressed. In all black will experience bad luck and even one of their family member might die later he goes to meet Sam who is at his son's grave while walking back to the house. He tells he heard about the girl from the village and feels sorry for it. Then he takes Arthur to his house and introduces his wife Elizabeth later while having dinner Elizabeth talks about her son Nicholas and while talking she starts to act like she was possessed by something and draws something on the desk with a knife. Sam then sedates her and puts her to sleep. Sleep. Later that night, Sam talks with Arthur and tells him that he lost his son drowned in the sea when he was little and Elizabeth went into shock and lost her mind since then due to depression Arthur also revealed that he also lost his wife a long time ago during giving birth to their son. They chat for a while, and later Arthur goes down to the dining room and takes a look at the word pattern that Elizabeth drew and the pattern looks like a woman who died by hanging herself. The next day Sam drives Arthur and he goes to Jerome's house to meet him. While looking for him, he gets to the basement and see through the door and sees a girl locked in. The girl sees him and tells him to go away and keeps saying that he killed Victoria. They both gets out of the house and when they are about to go to Elm Marsh they were confronted by the villagers. 
They tells Arthur to leave the village and says the little girl is dead because he saw the women at the house. When Sam tells him to stop believing in these superstitions they reminds that these superstitions are the cause of his son's death but they still drives up to the mansion and Sam hands him over some supplies for the day and tells he will return by 11 to pick him up after the tide went off and also leaves a dog with Arthur to accompany him after getting into the mansion. He senses that someone is watching him but he ignores it and continues his search for the documents while he was looking around he notices a hand on the door, but when he goes to look he sees nothing. Then Arthur hears the dog is barking at something and he follows it to check and ends up at the grave of Janet while he was returning back to the mansion he sees a woman on the top floor staring at him through the window. He quickly rushes inside to check on and finds no one inside. Later he goes through all the documents he found in the mansion and while going through them he notices some letters which are written to Alice drive below the deceased homeowner by her mentally ill sister Janet Humphrey. He reads in the letter that Alice has stole her son Nathaniel and asks Alice to let her see her son, and in another letter it is revealed that her son died by drowning in a swamp, and Janet blamed Alice for her son's death. And then she commits suicide by hanging herself after being exhausted. He falls asleep, then we see the woman in black is watching Arthur from behind. Later when the toys started making noise upstairs Arthur goes to check it and sees the women in black's apparition and also sees the chair as moving by itself without anyone sitting in it and when he notices something on the wall he rips away the wall covers and see Janet writings written with blood he also notices some more bizarre encounters Then he sees a boy getting out of the swamp and goes out to check where he sees several kids standing in the yard in a sad state while it is raining. Turns out they are victims of the women in black. He gets more encounters with the women in black, and soon Sam comes to pick up Arthur. Next morning while driving off, Arthur learns that the deaths of the kids in the village are caused due to the women in black. Janet cursed the villagers after her son is taken from her side. After getting to the village Sam and Arthur are shocked to see a fire that broke in a house. It is none other than Jerome's house. Then swiftly Arthur bursts through the flames into the house and goes into the basement to save Jerome's daughter. After getting there Arthur sees the women in black standing in the room. Soon the girl lights herself on the fire and Arthur couldn't save her later. Sam tells Arthur about the previous daughter of the Jeromes they have lost and tells since then. They lock their second daughter in the basement to protect her while he was talking. Arthur tells he saw the women in black at Jerome's house. But Sam tells him to take some rest since he is tired later. When Arthur visits Elizabeth at her son's grave she looks at him and tells that he saw the women and tells something bad will happen. Every time someone saw her she then tells since she also saw him she is going to come after him. And she will kill his son learning that the woman is going to kill his son Arthur and Sam drives off to the post office to deliver a letter to his son to make them stop boarding the train. But when he sees the post office as shut down Arthur plans on to reunite Janet with her son. When Sam reminds him that people have tried and failed in the past Arthur plans to use his car after the tide is down they goes to the swamp and Arthur ties himself with a rope and gets into the swamp. Arthur finds the cart and Sam pulls it up using the car. Then Arthur recovers Nathaniel's body and they goes back to the mansion. After getting to the mansion they still face off some bizarre encounters. And Sam sees his son Nicholas after reuniting her son with Janet. She finally calms down later they dug up Janet's grave and they places her son's body besides her and finally reunites them. Then Janet finally calms down for the time being the next night Sam drives Arthur to the train station and he meets with Joseph. Arthur intends to return to London immediately and sends the nanny to get the tickets while Arthur is talking with Sam Joseph away. Arthur then notices the women in black is standing on the opposite platform. He then sees Joseph as walking on the track towards the train. Arthur jumps off onto the track to save Joseph but it's too late. Arthur and his son got hit by the train. Meanwhile Sam notices the glimpse of the women in black and children she killed on the train's window. The women in black screeched and disappears after the train passes. Arthur looks for Sam and Joseph's nanny but he doesn't find anyone around. Then Joseph points at a woman in white dress and asks who she is. Arthur tells that she is his mother with a smile on his face. Then Stella takes her husband's hand and the three of them slowly disappeared into the mist. Later in the darkness Janet looked at them with envy. At the film ends with Janet's face slowly turns towards the audience and the screen turns black. 
Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon to receive new video notifications.